Praise the Lord. I give you God thanks and praise for all the evangelists. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's give God thanks and praise for all the evangelists. Praise the Lord. Come on. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I gotta say this, and this is just and this is just giving God praise, but just to show praise the Lord that the, the tree that planted by the rivers of water. Praise the Lord. It ain't gonna look like the tree that planted by no water. Praise the Lord. The Bible says here, eh, you shall, hallelujah, look green and nice and bring forth fruit, eh? Praise the Lord. And I realize that anywhere I go in, even these evangelists and all that kind of thing, every church people say, oh, they look so young and fresh. When they hear the age, when they hear the age, when they hear the age, they, hear the age, they, hear the age, they say, I am 60. They say, oh my God, you look like 40. Praise the Lord. Isn't God a good God? You see, when we give God thanks and praise for everything that he has done, we appreciate God. God do more for us. You know why God don't do more for some of us? We don't appreciate what he's doing. So he cannot do more, praise the Lord. Because God like praise. Who don't believe that God like praise? Who don't believe who, who knew that God like praise? God like when you tell him, God, you know you're sweet. Sister and sister, I love you when you touch me. I don't know. Praise the Lord. God love all these things. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I tell you, um, some, um, Solomon talk about the goodness of God and how sweet he is. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Give God thanks and praise for the elders of this church. Elders and the ministers, the ministers, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Give God thanks and praise for the choir right now. Praise the Lord. The best of all of your choir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank God for the musician. Hallelujah. Give God thanks and praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I thank God. Hallelujah. For my brothers and sisters and my visiting friends and the children that sing today. Give God thanks and praise. Come on. Give God for Hallelujah. I want to highlight this. Praise the Lord. That Hallelujah. Evangelist Francis. Praise the Lord. My missionary Dennis. Praise the Lord. She, they are both doing a good job. And the young people. Come on. Come on. Let's give God thanks and praise for them. Come on, I, I don't hear, I don't hear, I don't hear, come on. They're doing a good job. Praise the Lord, and these young people are better born again. They have them up there and they're singing now, and they're doing all that. That is good. Praise the Lord. And I said to my friend who is not, who is here young, don't baptize yet, get into the whole youth business because hell is not nice. And it really praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen to Brother Stutter, young man here singing. It looks like him and he called for preacher. You can see the preacher in here, eh? You can see how he moves the mic. Praise the Lord. Elder Jackson always said, watch them when they're young. Watch them, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You will see something portrayed. God will put out something in them. Praise the Lord. I see my little grand one he jump. Last week, shout to all the complexion change. They don't brown like it brown anymore. They look red. Praise the Lord. Worship is a worshiper. Praise the Lord. When they worship and they put out his foot on you like that. And then, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is good. He's working on the young people. Praise the Lord. I tell you, when they can take their coin and put it in their hand, when Isis can command them, from way over Israel, or the over the uh, Middle East there. Internet, connect them, and let them work anywhere in the world and give up their life. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. We telling the devil he's a liar. God is greater and stronger. God can do all things, praise the Lord, hallelujah. So we have to work on our young people right now. Give God thanks and pray. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. 
Praise the Lord. Thank you, God. Again, praise the Lord. I have praise the Lord. I held a night. Praise the Lord. His wife is here. I want to acknowledge her. Praise the Lord. Just come and give a praise to the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Bless the Lord. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We don't have further delay. Praise the Lord. We have ice cream upstairs. No further delay. Stand up. Praise the Lord. I'm going to put on the speaker for you right now. Praise the Lord. Open your heart. Open your mind. Open your mind. Praise the Lord. See this word of God from the, this young man. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. From Kingston, Jamaica. Praise the Lord. He's with us here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let's Greet, praise the Lord, no other person than Elder Knight. Elder Knight from Kingston, Jamaica, my friend, your friend. Receive him with a hearty round of praise the Lord. Come on, say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. You may be seated. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I just want to honor the Spirit of God here this afternoon. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. The, the Lord has saved me when I was in my youth and gave me this opportunity that I can rejoice in Him to give Him glory because of what He has done. Thank you very much. Praise God. I just want to also uh, honor the man of God for the, in the center, the shepherd, Pastor Anthony Avaranga, to his wonderful wife, praise the Lord, Evangelist Doreen Avaranga. It's good when you can look at the monitor and get the names. Praise God. I too have a problem. Your problem has been solved. But I need two teeth to fix. I need the two front one also. Amen. So I'm hoping and praying at the end of probably this year I will get it sorted out. And sometimes when you have defects like those, you don't want to even smile. Amen. Because, you know, it's sort of embarrassing. But praise the Lord, when you have the Holy Ghost, no matter what defect you have. Hallelujah! Oh God! Hallelujah! Oh God! Even though you might look abnormal, he makes you to become normal. Oh, glory to God. Even when you're a pastor, when you come into the house of God, or you get saved, you become the son of God. And when you're a son of God, you're a prince. When you're a son of God, you're a princess. Lord of mercy. I want to behave myself today. It's you Sunday. Lord of mercy. Oh, glory to God. I, I want to honor the ministers and the elders praise the lord and the rostrum beautiful choir praise the lord those who are in front of me in the pew and those that are visiting i greet you in the exalted name of jesus christ amen i extend greetings to my bishop uh that's local bishop here in Patterson, new jersey praise the lord uh bishop louis mitchell from the true witness church of jesus christ Amen. And the brethren that are there. I have been traveling since I got here three weeks ago to the various states. And the last week I was to come here and unfortunately I could not make it because the, 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 the driver um, slept, overslept. So by the time she woke up and I called her, she said, Elder Knight, if we leave now, we're not going to reach in time. So let us put it for next week. I said, okay, let us put it for next week. That is today. When I called her Tuesday, she said, oh my God, she, she could not make it this week also because um, something came up. And I said, Lord, it, it, it means that I, 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 I can't come to her because I'm going to leave on Saturday. Praise the Lord. And a brother of mine, he was to go to do some training somewhere and he said to me, I didn't even say to him, it was another brother that came to him and said, listen, your brother is here and he can drive and he wants to move around. 
you're going away to spend some time just letting the vehicle, I you know, by talking, he took me home and he said to me in the van, you really want the vehicle? Why am I going to tell you no? I'm going to tell you yes. Oh, praise the Lord. God working it out. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is a good God. When one door is closed, just look for another door. It must be open. Hallelujah. And so I went to Connecticut yesterday. Praise the Lord. Was it Thursday? Don't remember. Friday. Went to Connecticut Friday. And uh, Sam, yesterday night, we came into, praise the Lord, New York and uh, stayed by our, my dear, or your dear also, uh, Sister Douglas, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm glad to have her in my life because she also um, is another door that has opened at this end of the vineyard because if it wasn't for her, put your hands together for her. If it wasn't for her, I would not be able to be here also today. When I came up two, three weeks ago, um, I was asked to preach at a church in Queens, that is um, Asian Restorers. And uh, um, I asked her if I could spend some time with her because it would be easy for me to go there, praise the Lord, and she too offered me a vehicle you know. But oh God, I didn't have any navigate, I didn't have any GPS at this at that time. No I have a GPS, so I can't get any time at all. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm just getting the protocols out of the way. Amen. So it is not by chance that I'm here today. And when I told Sister Douglas that I would be coming today, I have been trying to say to myself and talking to the Lord, Lord, what will thou have me to say to your people? Because it's not anything that I just want to say. When I'm asked to speak at a, at a church or wherever, I ask the Lord to direct me. Because I just don't want any shaking. I just don't want speaking in tongues. I just don't want you to get emotional, feel good, leave here, and that's it. I want God to use me the way that I want Him to use me. Amen? Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. And so I've been making up some chatting as usual. And I, you know, went online, went in the Bible, and all of that. And when I came here, Pastor said that I could uh, sit at the restaurant. I told him, no, not, not as yet. I went downstairs and I opened my Bible. And, uh, but you know when the Lord has been to your mind? You, you just plan something and the Lord say, I don't want that. And I, I keep saying, Lord, why you do this for me? You let me study, you let me go through the scriptures and at, at, at the end of it all, you're saying, I don't want that. Yes. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Yes. And then when I get inside, I heard that and I realized that it was you Sunday. And I said to myself, Lord, if this is the route you want me to go, then I'm going to go that route. Because even what I have prepared, if I say it, it is not going to give you the glory because I'm doing it of self. Oh, praise God. And I won't be long with you today, praise the Lord, but I want you to just stand with me. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sort out, because I made the chantings down there, and I want us to go to Romans chapter 9. Romans chapter 9. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Youth Sunday. If you found it, say Romans. All right, we're going to read from verse 1 through to verse 12. I say the truth in Christ. I lie not. My conscience also bearing me witness in the Holy Ghost that I have great heaviness and continual sorrow in my heart. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Christ for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites to whom pertain it, the adoption and the glory, and the covenants and the giving of the law, and the service of God and the promises, whose are the fathers of whom, as concerning the flesh, Christ came, who is over all. 
God bless forever. Amen. Let us know the word of God and take a none effect. For they are not all Israel which are of Israel. Neither because they are the seed of Abraham are they all children. But in Isaac shall thy seed be called. That is, they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of God. But the children of the promise are counted for the seed. For this is the word of promise. At this time will I come, and Sarah shall have a son. And not only this, but when Rebekah also had conceived, conceived by one, even by our father Isaac. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God, according to election, might stand not of works, but of him that called it. It was said unto her, The elder shall serve the young. I want us to say verse 12 together. It was said unto her, The elder shall serve the younger. Just bow your heads with me. Most holy and righteous God, I come before you today, giving you all the praise and the glory. Father, you know, O oh God, what you have led me to say today. Your servant stands before your people to bring forth the word, Lord. Lord, I pray, O oh God, that you just cover me from head to my toes. Lord, give me, Lord Jesus, that unction to declare what does say the Lord. Hallelujah. So that, O oh God, we can rejoice and give you the glory. We pray, O oh God, that you just use me, Lord, as a vessel as you have done so many times. I'm available to you right now, Lord. Hallelujah. And I give you the glory in Jesus' name. Amen. You may be seated. Praise God. It's you Sunday today. I'm just going to ask my son, praise the Lord, just to come and, and just to do what he's led to do today. Praise the Lord. It's you. I want to use up for you. Amen. Thank you. 
just be, you know, that sort of person that uh, even when I was being punished, tears should have run by, down my, my, my face. But when I went to church one Sunday morning and my heart was not right and I lifted my hands in the air and I started to say, Lord, forgive me because I'm a sinner shaped in iniquity. Forgive me, Lord. I'm here repenting of my sins. Tears started to flow down my eyes. And I said to myself, Oh God, you are a good God. Hallelujah. You are a good God. I want to go back into the book of Genesis based on the scripture that was read in Romans chapter 9 to the story of Esau and Jacob. It's a well-known story, and as I said, I am not going according to what I had planned to preach, but what God is allowing me to speak to us today. So I'm just asking him to use me. Hallelujah. It is said that the Bible said in Genesis that there was a woman that was called Rebecca. And Rebecca was married to this man called Isaac. Isaac, hallelujah, in chapter 25, verse 21 of Genesis, spoke to the Lord because Rebecca was barren. Oh, God Almighty. Hallelujah. You see, if you didn't remember, I'm bringing to your recollection that Abraham had received a promise. God said to Abraham, I'm going to bless you. Hallelujah. I'm going to bless you as a son of the seashore. I'm going to let sure that the promise remains on you. And so when Abraham, hallelujah, to Sarah brought forth Isaac, even Sarah at her old age, hallelujah, when Abraham, God was talking, we're talking, and Sarah heard, hallelujah, about this conception, the Bible said that she laughed because she said to in herself, can I of an old age, hallelujah, bring forth a child, but I'm saying to somebody today, when God is in the blessing, no devil can stop it. When God is in your blessing, no age can oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I don't know what I'm saying. Hallelujah. But I'm saying to somebody today, it doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter if you're unemployed. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter the stage that you're in. If God is in it, then it will come true. Lord of mercy. Hallelujah. The Bible said that Isaac entreated the Lord. And the Bible said that the children struggled because she was going to bring forth twin. Ah, hallelujah. And she was confused in her mind because she felt the struggle within her. And she also asked of the Lord, Lord, what is this happening to me? Verse 23 says, the Lord said unto her, two nations are in thy womb and two manner of people shall be separated hallelujah from thy bowels and the one people shall be stronger than the other people and the elder shall serve the younger when the days were fulfilled 
The Bible says in verse 25, the first one came out red, all over like an hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out, which was the younger one, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was three score years old when she bared them. Hallelujah. The boys grew. And Esau was a cunning hunter and a man of the field. And Jacob was a plain man dwelling in the tents. And Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison. But Rebecca loved Jacob. I want to pause here a little. It's not the first time I've been speaking on this story and I want us to understand mothers or we're going to be mothers and who have more than one children in the home whether biologically or adoption because I'm, I'm going to talk about that hallelujah is that we have to be careful of how we prefer one child over the other oh god let me take my time here now you see the bible said that Isaac hallelujah preferred Esau because he was a cunning hunter. Hallelujah. And as a man growing up because, uh, hallelujah.